This program is made possible by the giving of the God Called Partners of Renner Ministries. Hello, friend. My name is Denise Renner, and I want to welcome you to this program. We have been having amazing lessons in this series talking about our spiritual armor against the works, the power, the attacks of the enemy. And the Bible says we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers in high places. And you, if you're born again, you have exactly the right equipment, exactly enough equipment on the inside of you through the Holy Spirit to defeat the enemy. Isn't that fantastic? And I want to offer you my husband's book. It's called Dress to Kill, A Biblical Approach to Spiritual Warfare and Armor. And if you don't have this book, I want to encourage you to order this book because it will give you so much information and education about what God has put on the inside of you. And we call it spiritual armor uh, that will help you and equip you against the attacks of the devil. You see, the devil, he thinks that he's so powerful, but he's not more powerful than the one on the inside of you. And the armor that the Spirit of God, when you got born again, placed inside of you, dressed you with. If you could see yourself in the Spirit, you would say, oh my, I am so very powerful. And that's what I want to explain to you today is just how powerful that you are in your spirit. And today we're going to talk about those shoes of peace. When those shoes of peace are working on the, on you and inside of you, that peace, it's conquering peace. It's intimidating peace to the attacks and the onslaughts of the devil. And when that peace comes, the devil has to flee. Now, if you need prayer, you be sure and please let us know how we can pray for you. And if you want to respond to what you're learning or God's doing in your life through these programs, please let us know. I read all your responses. Well, I'm so excited to get into this teaching and tell you about this powerful peace that's on the inside of you. And God has dressed you with these powerful shoes to walk over, to stomp on, to crush the attacks of the devil. So let's get started studying about those wonderful, powerful shoes of peace. Well, we're going to get started talking about these powerful shoes that you have on your feet and this amazing equipment that God has given you to fight against the wiles and the schemes of the enemy. I'm talking about that spiritual armor on the inside of you, and that will completely annihilate and defeat the work of the devil. You know, that gets me excited just right there. (laughs) That God in his mercy, in his love, he didn't leave us orphans and he sure didn't leave us without power against the enemy. And that he has by his spirit equipped us on the inside. And today we're going to talk about that amazing peace. Oh, I'm so excited. And, you know, sometimes we think that our problem might be a a situation or a person. But as we've already said, the Bible says our problem is not that person. Our problem's not that situation. Our problem is not what's going on around us. 
our problem is principalities and powers and rulers in dark places. And we do not have to be afraid because you, my friend, you're equipped by the Spirit of God. And so that's what I'm talking to you about today. And we're going to talk about those wonderful shoes of peace. Are you ready? I'm ready. The Bible says in chapter 6 of Ephesians that our feet have been sh shed abroad with the sh with peace that these with these shoes of peace and it is not just peace like um you know passive oh no no this peace is conquering this peace is aggressive and it's a threatening work to the enemy and I want to show you about this piece in the life of Jesus. In Mark chapter 4, verse 38, we read in those verses about the disciples getting into the boat, Jesus getting into the boat, and a huge storm. I mean, it's, it's like a storm, like a, like a cyclone, like, I mean, something has erupted in the sea and water is filling their boat and the disciples are fearing for their life. They do not know if they're going to see their families the next day. I mean, they're really... I know you know this story, but think about those disciples. Think about that horrible sound of that wind and the waves coming into the boat and they look at their feet and and they see water rising up and rising up and they don't even know if they're going to see their families again and and fear has surrounded them it's engulfing them they're probably yelling at each other do something Peter Luke you do something John do something and then finally they say, well, let's just go get Jesus. So they go and the Bible says that when they came to Jesus, he was asleep. Friend, I was studying this. Actually, I was studying it this week again. And I just read those three simple words. He was asleep. And I thought, Lord, Lord, the peace, the peace that must have just surrounded you. You said you were going to the other side. So you just lay down and took a nap. And even as the water was rising and and we don't even know, friend, how far the water got up on Jesus. Maybe it was to his knees. Maybe it got up to his chest. But it says that Jesus was asleep. And I thought, Lord, that's the peace. That's the peace that you've given to each one of your children. It's on the inside of us, that very conquering, aggressive peace against the works of the enemy, against anything that will come and disturb us or shake us, that your peace is greater. And you were just peacefully sleeping. And of course, the disciples, they got a hold of Jesus. They said, wake up, Jesus. Don't you care that we're perishing? And Jesus spoke to the wind and the waves calmed and the peace overcame the storm. I was teaching this one time and there was a young woman listening to this. And she started thinking about the peace of God on the inside of her. And her situation was that she lived 
to, next to neighbors in the, in the apartment building that she was in, and the walls are not very thick. And so at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, those neighbors are still screaming. They're still playing loud music. And that woman, she would complain, but nothing could be done. And, and I mean, it's just stealing her sleep night after night after night. And she was listening to this teaching. And she was listening about Jesus sleeping and possibly that water just coming up even to his chest and he's still asleep. And she said, I've got that peace. And she told me, friend, that she just went to sleep that night. Nothing changed. The noise was going on at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, the music, the yelling. But she was engulfed in that peace. Isn't that powerful? That's the kind of conquering peace that's on the inside of you. Peace is so important that when Jesus rose from the dead, of course, we know that his disciples, they were afraid for their lives. The Bible says that they were afraid because of the Jews. And in John chapter 20, verse 19, it says, then the same day, the evening being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, peace be with you. Then we could go to verse 21 and Jesus has shown them his hands and his side. And in verse 21, again, Jesus says, peace to you. As the father has sent me, I also send you. Then in verse 26 of that same chapter, eight days later, the disciples are together and Thomas is with them. And Jesus came, the doors were shut and he stood in the midst. And the Bible says, he said, peace to you. Why was peace so important? When the disciples, they didn't know what was going on in their life. They committed their life to Jesus. They had been with Jesus for three years, nonstop. They ate with him. They slept with him. They laughed with him. They rested with him. They worked with him. They did miracles with him for three years. And now they just saw him be crucified and buried. And they didn't know what was going on with their life. And what were the Jews going to do with them? And they were afraid. And every time Jesus came into their presence, he said, peace to you. That's why it's so important right now, friend, that you and I in these days, when things are going on that we don't understand, that we take a hold and we recognize the peace of God that's on the inside of us. And that peace is shattering and destroying every single doubt and fear that can be plaguing our hearts or our emotions. On that day, Jesus said exactly what they needed to hear. He came with exactly what they needed, peace. And now for you and I in the 21st century, what do we still need in this troubling time? We need peace. Now look at how we've been given a relationship with our Heavenly Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we have been given His peace. Not that Jesus walked through walls and came and stood in the midst of us, but he came to live on the inside of us and bring us that peace. Isn't that fantastic? And this peace is a weapon and it's a weapon on your feet. Wherever you go, your feet are covered and draped 
with this amazing, <laughs> this amazing peace. And the Bible says in Philippians chapter four, verse seven, that this peace, that it passes all understanding and it keeps our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. So peace is so powerful that it says it passes understanding that you can be in the most difficult situation. And because of your shoes of peace, those amazing shoes, you can conquer and be victorious in the most difficult situation. It's beyond our understanding. Aren't you glad it's beyond our understanding? Because God is so big. If we understood him, uh, we don't even understand how that right now, this very minute, he's creating other universes. We don't even understand how out of the billions and trillions of stars, he's named every single one of them. We don't understand the Bible says that he holds everything together by the word of his power. If he took his word away from you and I, away from this earth, away from this planet, it would explode. It's his power that's holding it together. Do we understand that? No, we don't understand it. Peace when it comes to you in difficult situations. And besides, instead of being upset, and conquered by the situation, you're conquered by that peace. And you say, you know what? I don't understand this, but this is really happening. I have peace in this horrible situation. That is almighty God working on the inside of you. That is those powerful shoes that you have on your feet. That peace is keeping power. And that peace has a voice. And that peace will say to fear, no, I'm not moving. That peace will say to worry, no, I'm not moving. I'm staying right here. Boy, I hope this is encouraging you like it's encouraging me. I'm talking about spiritual, spiritual power against the work of the enemy and the things that happen to us in this world. You know, the apostle Paul, when he wrote this in Ephesians, he was in a prison and uh, he was next to a guard, a Roman guard, and he could look and, and examine all this uh, armor on this amazing soldier. And he could look down at his feet and see those killer shoes. And the Holy Spirit was showing the Apostle Paul, oh son, that's what you look like on the inside. I'm proclaiming to you right now, friend, that's what you look like on the inside. You have these killer shoes on your feet. Now my husband, he's a Greek scholar, and in, in Romans chapter uh, 16, it says that these shoes of peace, they will crush Satan under your feet shortly. Now, it, I want to talk to you about that word crush because it means that it will uh, bring to nothing, crush as into powder. Your shoes of peace can annihilate, crush, make as nothing the attacks and the attempts that the enemy tries to bring against you under your feet, which are covered with peace. That's how powerful that peace is. Now, in Romans chapter 16, and it's talking about those peace, the peace that crushes. You see those Roman soldiers, they would, uh, when they walk down the street, 
in their great form and their great strength and their great athletic aptitude and everything that they were equipped with to crush their enemy, they had on killer shoes. Why do I call them killer shoes? Because on the bottom of, of them were spikes at least two to three inches long. And so as they walked down the road, if anything got under their feet, they just crushed it and it became as nothing. And that's what the Spirit of God is exhorting us today, that if something gets in your way, if the devil comes, with his attempts, with his accusation, with his accusing of you, with his trying to steal your peace or your joy or your patience, that you just, with those peace, with those killer shoes, peace on your feet and on the inside of you, you just walk right over it. You just crush it under your feet. That's how powerful the peace of God is on the inside of you. Aren't you glad that God just didn't leave us power, powerless, but he packed us full with power on the inside to stand up against any enemy and to crush them under our feet with these killer shoes? I'm telling you, I think this is so powerful. Friend, I want to say to you, you are not powerless. I know that things are going on in this world and they just seem like it. This is people say this is crazy. Well, this really, truly is crazy. People have truly lost their minds. It's demonic power that is causing people to act in such insane ways. And maybe you see it and maybe it's even touching your family or maybe it's touching you and fear tries to come. Fear knocks on your door, on, the, on your heart, on your mind and says, you can't get over this. You'll never see the victory of this. You'll never be healed of that disease. Jesus must have wanting to teach you something through this disease. All kinds of lies and schemes and accusations tried to plow into your mind. But I'm telling you, you have something more powerful on you than those accusations, lies and schemes and things going on around you. It's your shoes. It's your shoes of peace. It's the peace of God that's on the inside of you. It's the Prince of Peace who put his very self on the inside of you. And when we acknowledge that peace, friend, that and agree with what God has put on the inside of us, that's when we can crush Satan under our feet shortly. Well, I want you to stay with me because I'm going to pray for you and we're going to agree together and acknowledge together that wonderful peace, that conquering peace that annihilating of the enemy kind of peace. And we're going to receive that peace and have victory in our lives together. So you stay with me. I'm going to be right back. And I'm going to pray for you. The devil is real. And as long as you seek to live in God's will, obey his word, and drive back the forces of darkness, the devil will do his best to oppose and thwart the plan that God wants to accomplish through you. But God has given you everything you need to victoriously stand against the devil and to thwart his attacks. That's right. God has provided you with a complete set of spiritual armor that will put the devil on the run every time. With that weaponry at your disposal, you are dressed to kill. In the in-depth 10-part series, Dressed to Kill, Rick Renner covers the power needed to sustain you through any battle, the seven weapons God has provided for you to use against the enemy, the way to stand victoriously against the wiles of the devil, the God-given strategy to keep the devil under your feet, and so much more. This powerful, 
life-changing 10-part series is available in digital or physical formats, starting at just $20. You can also order Rick's companion book on spiritual armor and spiritual warfare called Dress to Kill. This fully illustrated 500-page book will answer your questions about the often misunderstood subject of spiritual warfare. It will teach you how to put on the full armor of God and the important role each piece of armor plays in defeating the enemy. This powerful classic on spiritual warfare and spiritual armor can be yours for just $22. Don't miss this special offer, the series Dress to Kill and Rick's companion book, Dress to Kill. Call the number on your screen now or go to renner.org to order. Call or go online now. Friend, is it wonderful to hear about the amazing peace of God that he wouldn't leave us powerless? Oh, no, no, no. He left us with so much power to overcome, to be victorious in whatever situation we might find ourselves in. Maybe, maybe I'm talking to somebody right now and, and some kind of sickness or disease has tried to come on you or come on you and, oh my gosh, it's stealing your joy, it's stealing your peace, it's stealing your money, it's stealing your time. And you've just thought, God, God, where are you? I want to tell you, dear friend, he's right there. He's on the inside of you, bigger than that disease, bigger than that diagnosis, bigger than the fear, bigger than what other people say. The power of God is on the inside of you. I know I'm talking to somebody right now, and I'm encouraging you right now to recognize that great Prince of Peace that's on the inside of you to even bring healing to your body. And right now, I speak peace to you. I speak peace to that disease. I speak peace to that burning on somebody's skin. I speak peace to that heart that's not beating right. I speak peace to that burning that's inside of your, on your skin, somewhere on your skin. I speak peace to that in the name of Jesus. Because the one who's the peaceful one, the Prince of Peace, he's on the inside of you. And he's greater than any disease, any threat, any thought, any opinion of anybody else. That peace on the inside of you is greater. And Lord, right now, with my friend, we acknowledge, we receive that great peace that's now ministering to each one of us. We receive your peace, your almighty God. We receive your peace. Part of our armor is your peace. We receive it right now in the powerful name of Jesus. Friend, if God is touching you in any way, please let us know. If you need prayer and you want to agree with somebody, please call us. We're there for you. But I want to thank you for being with me because I've enjoyed so much talking to you about these wonderful killer shoes of peace that are on your feet and on the inside of you. This program was made possible by the giving of the God-called partners of Renner Ministries.